killer whales is going to be the biggest thing in crypto. My community told me, uh, Jure, you don't need to ask anything because we know everything. Maybe maybe he wants something to know about his project. Because last, uh, last, mo- last few months, we spent more than two or three hours per day only investigate everything about this project. <laughs> and then every night, we have one, one and a half, two hours uh, live stream where we we speak every day about about project wow, and there is, in my Let's community in my community we have uh three three guys in top 50 wow. and we have more than 300 people invest in project and we really like like this project because it's yeah. something something new something fresh i don't know if you speak about meme you have thousands of meme if you speak about uh, gaming you have thousand project if you speak about Anything you can find, thousand similar project, and then we then we find this, and we said, "Oh my God, this is mm-hmm. something, something new," you know. And that's my my first question is, uh, "Are you personally happy with last last two or three months with progress with with everything you did?" I think it's gone great. I mean, my take on it, I believe in Hello more than I've ever believed in anything I've ever worked on in my entire life. So to me, it was always a no-brainer that this this company was needed, this project was needed, this token was needed. And to me, it kind of was a surprise, not the last few months, it was just a surprise that when we first announced that we were making Hello, that people didn't see the kind of the potential from the start. Because for a lot of the viewers that have been here since day one, they'll probably realize that we actually started the project as Doge Dash, which was like a play to end game. And then we took, me and the team took this kind of decisive step to kind of branch away from this kind of meme gaming economy into a fully fledged entertainment company. And when we first did it, it was met with a lot of, um, a lot of negativity because a lot of people thought we, we were like abandoning the, the kind of meme and the, and the gaming side of things when to us, it just seemed like a no brainer that there was a huge gaping hole in the market for a web three entertainment company. And Hello Labs fills that hole perfectly. Yeah. And uh, my opinion is something like uh, nobody know about project. And then we, we got the moment when Alcon Daily post mm-hmm. that they are the part of the project. And I think that that was the moment when all story was skyrocketing. Yeah. yeah. And just on that, I think one of the one of the key problems with working in the space compared to my my previous job, which is working in the entertainment industry, is that in the entertainment industry, you already have a lot of these established brands. So if MTV picks up the phone and says, hey, do you want to be on our show? You know that the, the talent knows automatically what that is and how they're working towards that and, and, and that it's all legitimate. Whereas in crypto space, the major thing is people kind of raise their eyebrows and they start to question you. They question the motives. They question everything around around the project and, and the space in general. It's not even about Hello Labs at that point. It's about crypto in general. So there's a real kind of uh, like legit credibility test. And I think Altcoin Daily coming on board was the first time that everyone looked at this and thought, wow, this is actually going to be a big deal. There's credibility here. And and then obviously Coin Market Cap came on board, and and the whole kind of landscape shifted to all of these people that were didn't want to get involved in the, at the first point because they were worried about kind of Doge Dash and worried about a new company. Now they're all knocking on our door, and everyone in the industry, all the big players, want to be part of Killer Whales and and part of Hello. So it's it's almost a, a real kind of a real opportunity now for us to, to cement our role as like the leaders in the space. And I don't. I, I look at the competition, and to me, there is no competition. When I look at the galas of this world or the ape coins, I've met those teams. I've worked with them, and I'm not impressed. I've got to be honest. I think. I think there's a, that we can raise the bar even higher. There's no competition. I saw yesterday on Twitter uh, one guy. Uh, he wrote something like, uh, "Oh my God, they got Scaramucci. These guys are. I, I, I. These guys are they really serious? You know, because Scaramucci is a big guy." It's not some random random guy in crypto, in business, in in everything, yeah? Mm. Like Scaramucci is a great example. So I actually met with Scaramucci at Consensus and, and, and Texas a few weeks ago. 
and he is more excited to be on the show than we are to have him. Like he is, he he wants to he wanted to host the show. He wanted to be on every episode. He was like, "Can I be more involved?" Like, so for people like him who have such a credible background and have worked at the White House, they've worked in in venture capitalists their entire career. They're they're big time, and and he's just the tip of the iceberg. Like that's an example of of where we're going, and also. Look at Killer Whales, not just the season one. Imagine where we're going to be by season five. If you watch Shark Tank season one, you'll see that it kind of was was just getting started. They were establishing themselves. They were building their kind of their sharks on the show. So just imagine that in three, four, five, six years time, the kind of level of talent and whales that we'll have on Killer Whales. Yeah, and 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 after first season, you'll see what what you must fix. Is there anything wrong? Is there anything you must put on exactly. some some high level on the on the next episode and 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 lots of other things? But we are in crypto space. Everybody want to know when Binance, when Coinbase, when you know. A question as as usual. But my question is uh, when hello hello TV. Is there any any news? Because I believe that's a big big moment, big things. Hello yeah. hello TV, hello app that app. Uh, I, I believe you work every day, all day on that project. Maybe this summer, or you will wait uh, a few months. Definitely, no, definitely, definitely this summer. The the app needs to come out before Killer Whales because for those of you that follow uh, our announcements, you'll you'll understand this. But the show premieres on the Hello app, so twenty four hours before the rest of the world gets to see it, the Hello token holders get to see the app, get to see the show before it's released to the general public. So you can only imagine how many people are going to be trying to watch that show at the one time. So the Hello app is going to be released this summer. Uh, the initial designs are all done. The UI is working. We're hopefully going to be doing a reveal of it in the next kind of month or two, uh, just to give you guys a flavor of what it's going to look like. But imagine it like Apple TV, but for Web3. I think that's the best way to describe it. Yeah, I, I think I saw uh, CEO Sander. I think he put something like... Uh, uh something like not roadmap but something like uh okay next step is yeah we'll start with uh, hello tv and then uh we'll put first episode uh crypto cribs yeah to check is everything okay is there something we must fix or, or something and uh for for guys who who don't know the story about uh about crypto cribs because everybody now speak just about killer whale killer whale i think 90 95% of all uh, story or, or about uh, Hello Labs at the moment is big show killer whale, but but I think uh, the other show is is good story. I actually just got off a call with Cordell a moment ago, and he's he's super he's super excited um, to be working on killer whales. That's his next kind of focus. So he's going to be getting more involved over the next couple of weeks as we build up to the shoot date. And then in terms of crypto cribs, that's just one of the shows. There's also I can't give it away just yet, but there's another show maybe another two shows that are in the works this is not just going to be killer whales this is going to be this is going to be a roster of tv shows that kind of bridge that line between web 2 and web 3 and again it's it's an open goal it's literally no one else in crypto out of the 23000 projects that are currently in crypto no one has these ideas and i just feel like it's 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 ours for the taking it's hello is for the taking and there's beautiful utility for hello token if you want to watch tv you need you need tokens exactly and, and again it's um it's one of those sometimes the best ideas are the simplest and it's sometimes the best ideas you think why did no one else think of that and and we started with doge dash which was a simple game that you collect coins and it was such an easy narrative for people to get behind and then that's evolved now into a fully fledged entertainment company and the next step the evolution of that of the token is to be able to use it to play the games watch the TV shows, buy the NFTs. And I think those three utilities are, are above and beyond anything out there in the space at the moment. Yeah, and we have how many days? I think six weeks before uh, shooting start, yeah? Yeah, six. you know more than me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. so yeah. today is the 11th, 11th of June. 11th <laughs> of June. Yeah. yeah, 11th of June. So we shoot the week commencing June 26th. Uh, and then we spend the summer editing the shows. Um, and then the show is released tentatively i would say end of september first week in october uh, so that's what we're aiming for and we're kind of predicting that the crypto market will be in a better place by then and there'll be more people kind of looking to move into the space and this will be the perfect vehicle for them for to, to get into the space 
Yeah, I, I wrote uh, two months ago. Wendy O is that girl? Two months ago, <laughs> I uh, I put I put f- fifteen days ago about Karamuchi post. Uh, I I don't want to tell uh, next because we have four four more. Yeah, I think four more. Yeah, four yeah, more. But so there was there was one picture. Uh, I think that there was uh, you put official picture with two. Uh, there was two girls on one picture, and then you change. Now it's without two girls. Yeah, you never know yeah. what's coming next. Yeah, so, yeah, I know. Depending on so depending on when you release this interview, you might the seventh judge might have already been announced. So, uh, who's your who do you, who do you think it's going to be? Uh, from this picture here. From yeah, who do you think judge? From seven? this, where is uh, where is only uh, one girl picture with only one girl? Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Uh, I I don't know. I uh, when when I saw the picture, I spent more than I think twenty hours. My community know that. <laughs> uh we check every fucking picture uh i i think there's no picture on internet we didn't check and then we were uh when when i says okay that's 99% scaramucci and then i i put there okay it's scaramucci because in in this world you know you you, you have uh if you find information before other guys you know everything you know how this work and, and we, we spend really lots of time and then I, one is uh expectation and uh, real expectation and one is Something others is dream. Everybody dream about uh, Elon Musk, uh, about CZ. And I says, oh, oh my God, you can't expect uh, some some serious guy who have one of the, of the biggest company in the world that he don't have time for a killer whale, you know. It's, uh... But then I says, okay, but there is a guy who is number one if I want to dream. You know, if I if I want to dream about the guy number one in the space with, uh, it's not about follower. Uh, it's my opinion. Maybe I'm. Maybe I don't have right. But my opinion is, it's not about uh, how many followers some someone have. Uh, it's only about charisma. I think it's only about charisma when yeah. you're in the room when you speak about something that everybody in the room uh, it's, they are looking just on your eyes what you have to tell. And then I says, okay, there is one guy in crypto space. Uh, now he sold his company for one uh, one hundred and twenty million. A dollar. He have enough time. He is one of the best guy. Uh, every video he posts on YouTube, more than eight hundred thousand views. Let and me guess. Uh, he is in United States, and I says, "Oh my God! If if they if they get Alex Becker on the show, I will I will sell my house and I, I'll buy." <laughs> Hello, I says that you know because but that's all a dream you know. But that's he's from industry, and I says, "Okay, maybe you you never know you know." Oh, oh, and uh, I think there was one interview last week. It was Twitter Space, uh, fifty six minutes interview. I forgot who was the host, but you. Uh, uh, it was a conversation with you, and uh, you didn't say says something like uh, some guy from venture capital. You says guys, and I says okay, we have Scaramucci, but who is another one? Is that maybe Mark Novogratz? Is that is, is maybe uh, Mark Cuban? And I says okay, I, I don't believe it's Mark because Mark invests in big crypto company now. I don't know you don't you maybe you don't know that information. Book that io. Yeah. It's new startup, and I says, okay, but now I'm 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 definitely crazy. Maybe Mark will apply, <laughs> and then we have story for uh, for history. I I can't imagine that Mark Cuban is on some show, but not as well on other side of table. He represent maybe his project, and I says, okay, it's it's not time for dreaming. It's time for only only fact, 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 fact. And now when I see this uh, last information today, uh, the most influence guy uh, on crypto something like that you put uh, on uh, and i says to my community okay it's too much for me i really don't know because everybody now they they try to find guy with most following guy with uh, who has the most uh, 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 subscribers more most followers and i says no no they have yeah. guy with phone with every number in crypto space is in his phone that means when someone is you know when he can call CZ and and says okay in thirty minutes let's go grab some coffee and on the other side he he have all crypto industry in his phone that means that's so what I mean. The, the, the next judge that we're going to announce is that person that you just to me he personifies what you've just mentioned, and the great thing is is his contacts list is second to none. So and he's actually coming on board not just as a whale, but to actually work with Hello Labs. 
and a partnership between their company and our company. So he's going to access, be allow us to access that even higher tier of whales. So maybe not for season one, who knows, like there's still six weeks left and we have one whale slot left. So we have nine filled and we have one we're saving as like a special kind of cherry on the cake. So who knows who that who the tenth is going to be? But the idea is that this person that's going to we're going to announce is going to really open his his contacts list and and really kind of you yeah. There's no one better connected in in, in Twitter than this guy. I I, I saw today uh, Avalanche Alex. D- did you see they post from their official account? No, what did they say? You didn't see that. No. Yeah, I know about project more than you. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Avalanche, Avax, uh, it's top, yeah, yeah, yeah. top it's top one hundred project on uh, Coin Market Cap. They put today from their official account uh, 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 about Hello Labs. It's it's amazing project about Killer Whale. And I says to my community, we all speak about some random project who will apply, and and I says, but these guys in uh, Hello Labs. I said there are motherfuckers. Believe me, we'll see there some top 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 hundred project from other side because that's oh, yeah. that's high level show. That's not some some random show in in my room. We we, we are shooting. You know, I said that guy he worked with I don't know with uh, with Rihanna with uh, with All Star there. You know, he, he uh, uh, when I speak about you, I I, I says he have know how. If I want something, I can't just dream how to do it. But he know how to do it. You know. It's not show they will shoot with one iPhone camera. It's uh, you know it's, it's yeah they'll make spectacle. And, yeah, we've and got they... the people making the show, the people at Hello Labs, our team, and the people that are making the camera team and the directors and all the people involved in actually pulling the show together are the best in the in, in the best in the world. So that's the one thing we're definitely going to get is we're going to get like a Hollywood standard triple A production. And the great thing is is. Everyone wants to be part of this. Like you've seen that, like that's just what you're seeing on crypto Twitter. You should see my Telegram DMs. You should see Sanders Telegram DMs. Everyone from every major chain is like, how do we get a part of the show? How do we get a whale on this show? How do we get involved in hello? So the the whole kind of the this the theory behind hello, the reason we're called hello ties into all of that because we want hello to be the first um stop on everyone's crypto journey. And attaching ourselves to all of these different chains and really becoming cross-chain in the future, so that when you think of crypto, the first thing you crypto could think of is the Hello token. And I think that that brand combined with the utility of Hello, I think is going to be absolutely game-changing. And it just blows my mind the potential of it. And it blows my mind that so far only the really intelligent people and the really kind of tapped in people in the industry are noticing it but the second the masses start seeing it that avax of of hit us up on on twitter all of the people that are in our dms you'll then see the real scale of this because killer whales is going to be the biggest thing in crypto in terms of bridging between mainstream and web3 yeah so you can really imagine how valuable that is to all of these huge brands that all want to be that 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 at that at that uh, kind of that pivot point yeah when someone says crypto first things is gonna be hello hello yeah uh, uh it was a few months ago in uh, in dubai in one shop uh i saw uh the battle for for water you know and i says oh my god it's battle from shark shark tank yeah <laughs> first things first opinion say, oh my god i saw that it's from there you know that's what uh what we'll get with with this show, uh, I believe lots of crypto project, lots of Web3 project uh, apply, apply at the moment. Uh, mm-hmm. Lots of my guys from my community uh, told me, ask him, ask him about voting process, about uh, when when they when they can can, can start uh, voting about their favorite, favorite project and something like that. Any news, any progress, any roadmap? So yeah, the search closes on June 1st. So before then, we'll be First. opening... In June 1st, yeah. So the search is open from May 2nd to June 1st. And then we, we're then in production for the show. And then we shoot the show the week commencing June 26th. So in terms of the voting, we're looking at opening the voting probably in the next, what date is today? It's the 11th of May today. Probably in a week to 10 days time, depending on a few, few variables. I think the key thing at the moment is we're just trying to... The, 
wait for the market to get into a place where it's a bit calmer. There's absolute chaos in the market at the moment. Bitcoin going up and down. Meme coins are pumping thousands of percent. And it's a, it's not the best um, kind of space at the moment for us to try and do something that's really methodical and really thought through. So our thinking at the moment is that we're just going to wait our time. And then some point before June 1st, we'll then open the voting for the wild cards to be onto the show. And the, the amazing thing so far that I've realized is that all the projects that have applied, they're all so different and they're from all over the world. Like every corner of the world and every kind of niche and theme in crypto is is um, is kind of is is represented. So yeah, that's the that's the great thing. And that's the difference between Shark Tank and Killer Whales. Shark Tank always felt very US centered. It always felt like it was US products pitching to the sharks. Whereas with Killer Whales and crypto in general, it's the whole world. So the whole world has got a, a, a platform to put their projects in front of the whales. Excellent. My last question. Uh, Hello Labs as uh, as company from today after two years. I think, again, don't hold me to this because who knows what the future is going to bring. Our kind of internal roadmap is that we produce the greatest TV show crypto has ever seen, Killer Whales. We make multiple seasons of Killer Whales. We make it territory specific. So we'll have different kind of versions of the show in different territories and different local languages. And then second to that, we'll also release other IPs, other TV shows kind of tied into that as well, that are that are their own separate to killer whales, but have their own kind of crypto meets web two kind of setup. And then from a kind of token point of view, we look to move to different chains. We're looking to move to ETH. We're looking to move to a couple of the other big chains so that we're available to everyone. Um, and then also I would say from a kind of a, a marketing and, and brand perspective, I hope that hello becomes synonymous with crypto. So that the second you're walking around the world and you see hello on a on a uh, on a um on a billboard or hello on a cup, but you automatically in my think, office. In my exactly, office. <laughs> exactly. So you automatically assume that hello, the word is tied to the crypto coin. And there will be a point in time where the two things balance out. So at the moment now you, you see hello. You, it's a word that is um is is the most common word in the world as you can see behind me but over time you'll get a, a brand association attached to the coin so that there'll be a shifting point where we'll never own the word hello we'll never be bigger than the word but we'll be attached to it so that in every conversation in every tv show in every billboard in every poster and every bit of branding that you see the word hello your brain subconsciously goes the hello token and the hello labs and that's the goal that's why we're called hello paul thank so you very much it was thanks pleasure. For having me on. no absolutely thanks for having me on and, and like just a shout out to our community is that like we just the great thing i think in our community at the moment is that everyone's super intelligent everyone sticks together everyone asks the right questions as you know from me sander and the rest of the team we're all kind of totally open we try and be as transparent as possible we're just like you guys but on the other side of the fence we started out as investors and then we moved to the other side of the fence to be to be hold uh, to be founders and and uh and manage the project team so just uh yeah just stick together guys and, and we're on something really special and i think over time you're going to see more and more people in the entertainment industry take note of hello and more and more people in the crypto industry take note of hello as well so it's exciting times thank you very much thank you